Hello everyone, this is Josh Aspect again. As you can tell, you can actually see my face. Beautiful man, I know. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we're going to play some more Summer Might Nightmare today. Might know. So, we're going to start off where we left off. Um, last time, Bob, our main character, we were talking about the Medusa. And I have a feeling we're going to encounter the Medusa soon, probably in this episode. So, here we go. Alright, so this is Bob talking right now. I know his name's real, I don't care. I'm being honest here. His name's Bob as far as I'm concerned. Where are you going now? Let's look for some other clues. That might get us out of here. I'll go to the broadcasting room first. That's where the broadcast came from, so something must be there. Uh... You? I have to find Lena. Do you know where she is? I don't know. If you're thinking about finding her without any information, you should just give up. Wow. Screw this guy, huh? Why don't you follow me? Maybe we'll find Lena while we're looking for other clues. Okay. Alright. You're right, but... Well, it's your funeral. Fine. But help me find Lena. They're gonna get their shit. Oh, damn. Here we go. Someone opened the door out of the classroom roughly. Alright. Huh? <laughs> it's Trey. He is alive? Trey? Real. Bob. I almost screwed up. Sorry. You're alive. How about the other guys? Others were... They were caught by the Medusa. Really met out of their lives. I should have looked after them. Trey couldn't finish his sentence and started to cry. What a bitch. <laughs> I patted him on the shoulder to comfort him. Losing his friends right before his eyes must have hurt him so much. I only took a glimpse of the Medusa's head and it was horrifying. Surrounded by red aura, bloody skirt, creepy hair. Just the hindsight of what he saw was enough to make him shudder. Are you okay? We have to get the hell out of here. Real. Bob. Where are you heading? The broadcasting room on the third floor. I thought something might be there. The broadcasting room? I already went there just now. The door is locked. Oh, great. Hang on. You went on the third floor while being chased by that freak? Oscar stared at Trey, his eyes slightly open. Trey glanced at the Oscar a bit and continued speaking. I realized... I was only already on the third floor when I got there. There. Anyways, it will be no use when you get out of the third floor. Come with me to the ground floor. I gotta go to the office. Oscar, what do you think? I'm not going to the office, Bob. If you want to go, you can go alone. Besides, I think I heard a scream from downstairs. What would you do in case someone screamed? Would you just be this asshole and say, hey, there's a scream? I'm gonna stay in the classroom. But then again, oh, shit. Maybe I would do the same. I don't know. Creepy ass Medusa downstairs. I'm getting out of here as fast as I can. But then again, I don't know. I'll follow the class rep. Let's go to the office to meet the teacher. The hallway of the first floor seems slightly blue. It's also totally silent and empty. I wouldn't be surprised if something pops out at the end of the corridor. Oh well, leaving Oscar alone bugs me a little, but there is no other way. We entered the office with Trey. Oh, here's the teacher. Bob, Trey! Teacher? I felt relaxed when I saw the teacher's face. I see him every day, but given the occasion, I felt practically relaxed. I'm glad to see that you're alive. What happened to the other kids? The others were... Of course, the broadcast was right. It reveals me that you guys are safe, at least. I was waiting here in case other students needed me. That is bullshit, and you know it. You lying piece of crap. 
You probably killed them, probably smacked their asses out of the classroom, saved yourself, and then let them die. My man. Is there anything else we can do to help? There must be a way to get out of here. Well, can you go find some clues that will help us escape? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Go to the library to find some clues or go to the third floor to find Oscar. I feel like if I continue to find Oscar... Oh, no. I gotta stick to my roots, man. I gotta go find some. I gotta go find some clues. I, I do want to meet up with Oscar, but I'm sure there will be other occasions, unless, unless he dies, which I doubt. So here we go. There's no one in the library. Hmm. I wonder why. Why don't we investigate the books? Excuse me. No time. No, no time to be reading books. There are way too many books. How are we supposed to find anything from here? Let's look at the school description page. Okay. Huh. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Well, that was a complete waste of your time. Bob, what the hell are you doing? It's weird that they're nothing at all. Don't descri- What? Don't description pages have any information about the history of the school or the faculty, usually? I doubt we can get any information from here. Let's move on and go to the next classroom. No one here either. No Oscar. So wait. What? Okay, alright, I guess I'll backtrack. It sure is scary to come to the science lab when it's so dark. The science room with the smell of chemical products is so ominous. The human body model of the science room looks like it's staring at us. The, the regularly, irregularly placed experimental tools are unsetting. Wait, was there something in this science room? I'd never seen this before. A syringe? A sh oh, damn, a syringe. Someone's getting drugged now. In a strange shape, we never used such a thing in the science lab. Suddenly, I heard a voice from behind Oscar. Or from behind Oscar. Fuck. I can't read, but that's okay. Weird, isn't it? Oscar. The hell have you been? This place wasn't a school originally. What are you talking about? We're in the computer room. Better not walk around so loudly like that, or Medusa will find us. Uh, I was so preoccupied with finding a clue that I couldn't think about the noise. Follow me to the computer room. I have something to show you. I don't want to be watching no hentai, Oscar. I swear. I'm not seeing anything. Alright, here we go. Oh, yep. Here we go. The episode begins here. <laughs> when we entered the computer room, we saw a girl sitting in front of the computer. Hmm. Alright. Okay. Don't worry about it. We're fine. It's Jane. I met her on the third floor. Hi. That's what you say. It's high. Another high. Hi. Have you been alone the whole time? Thank you, Bob. The only one with common sense asking a question instead of just saying hi. I was in the cafeteria with everyone, but the bullies took all foods and caused a scene. <laughs> Everyone's probably still in the cafeteria. Anyways, what's this? Trey points to the computer screen. Is it a map? The screen is blue. I was curious to find out too. So I looked at Oscar. We were looking for ways to end this whole thing, just like you guys. This is what I found here. It's documented 20 years ago. 20 years ago? Looks like a map. Yup. It's a map. Well, no shit. A map of this building. Wow. It looks like a map. Maybe if... Yeah. Obviously, thank you, but it looks a little different. It's the important part. Instead of the classrooms, there are laboratories. So Oscar and I were speculating that the school was a research facility before. You can even see journalists left by the researchers. Journal? Hmm. 19XX, XX experiment number 137 was very successful. 
At this rate, we might be able to bring it to life soon at the boss says. We can't do it. But we can do it. Sorry. The school is on a research facility. I never knew. It's the news for us. Thanks for letting us know. Bob, let's tell this to our teacher. You mean, uh, the secondary murderer? The guy who, you know, said fuck you to all of his other students and, uh, booked it? Yeah, no, it's good. Alright, I guess it makes sense for me to go to the teacher, so I'm just gonna go to the teacher. What's the point of telling him that our school is a research facility? He probably already knows about it. You're right. Let's investigate a little bit more. Okay. Where should we go? The school office or the cafeteria? I feel like if the office is there, the principal might be there, so let's go to the office. Okay, or not. Ugh! Oh, sorry. Ugh! It stinks! As Jane said, the office was filled with a terrible smell. What the? Oh, GG no re, man. It was Trey and our eight. Oh. Teacher, teacher, reach my toe. What? Trey, why is he? Bob, behind. Oh no. I tried to look back at Oscar's words, but I was hit in the back of the head by something. Ah. What the fuck? Oh, you died? Oh, so I made the wrong choices. You're telling me I had to restart from here? Alright guys, I'll see you when I go back to the decisions at the hallway. So, give me one moment. Okay, we're back. So instead of going to the office, I'm going to the cafeteria. So now that I know those two are dead, I hope I made the right decision this time. Huh. <sighs> Start what I can do. The passage to the basement will be on the first floor. As soon as I opened the door, the loud room suddenly became quiet. What's going on here? Hi. What do you want? Oh, great. I met the bully. Badass over here. I thought it would be helpful to share some information. So? Why don't we find any... Why don't we find a way to work together? If we unite, we'll all be able to escape. Didn't I tell you I couldn't read? Yeah, I did. How? Uh, um, at this moment, we don't know. But we will be able to figure it out soon. Also, we had to run away from the Medusa without eating anything. Could you share some food with us? Oh, you didn't figure out a way to escape, but you're trying to grab our food? I swear, Bob, don't smile at these kids. What the hell's wrong with you? You gotta beat their asses, man. Oh, jeez. It would be suicidal to walk around so carelessly. We'll wait here for the rescue. There is no food for you. Now get lost. Unlike we expected, we were faced with a cold response. But... Enough. Nothing's gonna change their selfish minds. Not even worth it. Let's go. Oscar left the cafeteria because he was upset and angry. Bob, let's go. I said get lost, you ass. Ouch! Why? He just hit- Oh, shit. Jim was knocked down by the push of the bully. A push? Really? A push? Come on. Just get up and knock his shit off, man. Are you okay, you bastards? I'm fine. Let's go. I'm scared. Jane's leg is bleeding. I hope Jane gets to the cafeteria. Get out of the cafeteria. To heal Jane's wounds, we went to the infirmary, which is right next to the cafeteria. The pure white color of the infirmary contrasts, with the outside coming to a bright spot so suddenly made my eyes hurt. Sit here. I can do this alone! Stay still. I'll do it for you. Judging by the smell, Seems like somebody was here just before. The bed, covered by the infirmary curtain, seems suspicious. Oh... 
guess we'll open the curtain. Something is strange. Should I open it? Oh shit, that's the nurse. In the bed, there was a body of a school nurse lying down with the blood around. Okay. Alright. That's good. This is screwed up, man. The frick? Look closer. Don't run away. We ain't running away from here. Uh, I put my hand on the nurse's neck, but I couldn't feel anything. Put your hand on the nurse's neck? Seems like the nurse is not attacked by Medusa. It seems to me that somebody killed her by strangling her neck. Who the hell would do this? Uh, what is this? The nurse is holding a yellow sticky memo paper. I took the sticky memo from her hand and read it. I think we should go back to the cafeteria. There we go. The cafeteria was crowded, so it would be pretty safe there. Also, if this turns out to be a clue for us to escape from here, we may be able to get some help from the bullies. Like before, the cafeteria was awfully quiet. What the hell is this smell? As soon as the doors was open, I could smell a foul stench. The smell? I feel like the smell was a warning to tell us not to go any further, but... On the sticky memo, it said, Meat for feeding, 2-3 number 7? I guess these numbers are for organizing the meat. 2-3, okay. The cafeteria once filled with students was now empty. Did anybody go to another place? We went into the cafeteria. Kaya! <laughs> Jane's scream made us stop. Oh my gosh! What the hell is this? What am I playing, man? I looked at where Jane's eyes were on. What I saw almost made us throw up. Holy crap. Yuck. They were corpses. They were torn apart to, to the point it was difficult to even identify them. They probably were the kids from the cafeteria earlier. For goodness sake! For goodness sake. It's terrible! They didn't deserve this! We could not hear anything when we were in the infirmary. It happened so suddenly. It killed everyone in just a short time. It sent shivers down my spine. I thought it would be possible to avoid the Medusa by being wary of its moving sound. Besides, if I had not been kicked out of the cafeteria, I would be. I'll go to the storage. You. We'll savage some foods. I tried to calm my trembling hands and went to the storage. But it was a total mess. Maybe the guys that were in the cafeteria messed it up. I followed the label to move along. 1-2, 1-38. Huh? Why don't I see 2-3 number 7 here? No matter how I look, 2-3 number 7 was not there. The first number always ended in 1. None went beyond. 2. No, none. Ah! What the hell? We've got what we need. Let's go if you're done checking, too. Sure. Oscar came back to the storage and started talk and talked to me. It was then, when I heard a rustling sound behind me. Don't tell me it's its savior. It is its savior. Holy shit, bro! It's creepy as all hell! We looked to check the source of the rustling sound the student found with a horrible state. That is fucking creepy. His face was hard to identify and it was covered with blood. Furthermore, the wounds did not appear to be caused by the Medusa. Psychotic son of a gun? Holy crap! He had his eyes torn out. It seemed to be his self-inflicted injury. Who's there? I can hear a voice. Yeah, that's creepy. Come here. I will save you from all of this. 
Medusa, she can do anything if you don't make an eye contact. So if you have no eyes, you can survive this. Oh my gosh. The eyeless student was holding a knife. The child crawled towards us. Real, take Jane with you. Let's get out of here. Without getting any information, we ran away from the cafeteria. I would have took that knife and jabbed it in that mother. Oh my gosh. Get that shit away from me. To report my teacher to what happened so far, I went back to the school office. However, he wasn't there. Teacher? Guess he's not here. Wait, isn't that Trey over there? He's alive. I made the right decision, finally. Oh, it's you guys. The teacher went somewhere. What's going on? I have something to say to him. Were you here the whole time? Yes, I was helping him. I am the class rep, after all. Are you okay? I knew we could tell that Jane was in a bad state. Yes, but I'm so scared. Medusa is scary too, but I'm more scared about the students. Jane be- oh my gosh. Man, wipe up those tears, you- Grow up, no. <laughs> Don't cry. Hey, you don't need to cry about it. Trey and Oscar tried to comfort Jane, but it would be necessary for me to engage. He's making his move. Huh? The drawer was open. Every drawer in the school office was supposed to be locked. Let's check. I don't know. Notes? Hmm, what does it say? This looks rather strange. Perhaps it's a message from the principal. Food ready to be prepared, status check 12. Okay. The fee is prepared. Status 12, 10.14, forbid access to the basement. You're telling me we're gonna go into some basement? It says forbid access, but I know we're going to go in there one day. Uh, it might not be this episode, probably the next one. October 14th, that's yesterday. What kind of order is it? There are other files underneath the note. Looks like a file that conveys the identities of researchers. Researchers. The nurse. These are all of our school faculties. Teachers were involved in the research institute too. Couldn't understand a thing. It feels as if something is disturbing my thought process. Uh, what is it? Teacher! Alright, I'm gonna end the video there guys. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of probably Summer Nightmares, okay? Alright, thank you, and stay Gucci. I'm still working on an outro, so I think that's pretty good. Stay Gucci. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Alright, stay Gucci then. Peace.